Breathing exercises are an integral part of yoga training and have been for centuries. It is claimed that mastering breath can produce almost instantaneous changes in an individual's physiology. And there have been many reports of yogis who mastered this kind of breath training, who could perform extraordinary feats of endurance or production of heat or to be able to endure long periods of physical discomfort or exercise or exertion. Right exercises, which lead to the aim of mastering the organism, begin with breathing. Without mastering breath, nothing can be mastered. A Dr. Richard Brown, Associate Professor of Clinical Psychology at Columbia University, gave a talk in February of 2005 at the University of Massachusetts. In this talk, he spoke about stress. He said that stress is a worldwide epidemic. The number one disease of adults in the world is depression. Depression is the most extreme form of stress. He further said that if you have significant anxiety, you have twice the risk of a heart attack. If you have significant depression over time, you have four times the risk of a heart attack. He added that stress can also increase the risk of cancer at an early age. Well, we all know that we live in a stressful world. The stress response is vital for survival in times of danger. The problem only comes in when it is turned on too much, too strong, and too often. Stress increases dangerous inflammatory factors called cytokines. It damages the hippocampus and causes memory loss. Stress can cause mood disorders. It can reduce the brain's ability to repair itself. It can increase abdominal fat. It can, it can interfere with thyroid function. It even increases the stickiness of the blood which can lead to blood clots, heart attacks, or strokes. We need to think about the world we live in and the dangers we face. Obviously, our stress responses are telling us something, individually, socially, globally. There is danger out there. There is danger everywhere. And we all need to understand why that danger is there, why our bodies are responding to stress. Our ancestors were not routinely exposed to the types of poisons that we encounter in our daily environment. We have not evolved the proper physiological machinery to break down these toxins. Today, humans are exposed to more toxic chemicals than at any other time in their evolution on this planet. Anybody, at any time, can become overwhelmed by physiological stress. Toxic bodies. That's one of the main contributors to the stresses in our environment. And as I mentioned, human beings did not evolve in a toxic environment, either physically or psychologically. So we have psychological stressors, fear responses, and we have physical stressors from the toxicity in our environment that makes us less able to withstand the psychological stress that we are subjected to. And we go round and round and round, getting more and more stressed every day. The storm of toxicity in our world has increased to such a pitch that we need stronger methods and techniques. And that is what this program is all about. That is what we are going to talk about today. There is something very simple you can do to alleviate the effects of stress and assist the detoxification of your body, mind, and emotions. The vagus nerve controls the relaxation response through the transmitter acetylcholine. Vagal nerve stimulation therapy using a pacemaker-like device implanted in the chest is a treatment that's been used since 1997 to control seizures in epilepsy patients. 
Every two to five minutes, this little machine stimulates the vagus nerve, causing your diaphragm to contract. It's recently even been approved in the U.S. for the treatment of depression and works about as well as antidepressants. Problem is, it has to be surgically implanted, and this little gadget is going to set you back by about $25,000, and I'm not sure that that includes the surgical implantation either. And it only stimulates the left vagus nerve, and it only affects a small portion of the vagus nerve. Vagus nerve stimulation may also be achieved by what is called a vagal maneuver. So let's think a little bit about this vagus nerve. If stimulating the vagus nerve is the key to sorting out your stress, as we imagine from all of the above details, I think we need to know just a little bit about where it comes from and what it does. It extends through the jugular foramen down below the head to the neck, chest, and abdomen where it contributes to the innervation of the viscera. That is, it's connected directly to your gut. Stimulating the vagus nerve, you can affect the high root from the thalamus to the cortex. When you affect the cortex in this way, you produce what is called sensory motor rhythm, or SMR. This is an activated pattern in the parietal cortex that is associated with the state of relaxed vigilance. In other words, it makes you very aware and very alert, but at the same time, you are relaxed and not stressed. Animals or humans exhibiting SMR show improved sleep, digestion, thinking, and memory. It's also been said that this SMR state prevents you from craving drugs and overeating. Apparently, you can achieve all of these benefits by self-stimulation of the vagus nerve via controlled breathing exercises. I think that you can get rapid, better, more enduring results with my program and my experience and the experiences of many others that I've worked with show that deep, regular breathing with long periods of exhalation, with emptying the lungs completely and carefully each time you breathe, and also using the proper meditation techniques will safely and rapidly get you to where you want and need to be in control of your stress and therefore your life. Oceans of sadness exist inside us. Oceans of pain because of the hurts that we have experienced and the realization of the hurts that we've done to others. These kind of things can be deeply released if you practice controlled breathing regularly. And once they are released, they no longer lurk in your subconscious, controlling your emotions, causing anxiety, depression, fear, panic, and other life-destroying emotional states.